for every business concern balance sheet plays a very much important role it is vital financial statement that shows financial position of the concern on a particular point of time or we can say that it is a snapshot of the financial position of a business concern on a given date on the screen you can see a balance sheet this balance sheet has two sides the one is assets listed on the left hand side and the second is liabilities and stockholders equity listed on the right hand side on the asset side there are two broad categories the first is current assets comprised of cash and equivalents accounts receivable and inventory the second major category is fixed assets comprising of property plant and equipment and intangible assets so we can say that a firm may have two types of assets both intangible and tangibles on the liabilities side we have three classes the first is current liabilities the second is long term liabilities and the third is stockholders equity current liabilities are those liabilities that are to be paid within the one accounting period and current assets are the assets that are to be converted into cash within one accounting period without losing their value long term liabilities are the liabilities that are to be paid beyond one year these liabilities may be comprising of deferred taxes or long term debt stockholders equity is composed of preferred stock common stock capital surplus and retained earnings so we can even say that liabilities are the sources and assets are the resources so assets are the resources that have been financed from the sources and these sources may broadly be categorized into two major heads external and internal internal resources are commonly known as owners equity and external resources external sources are commonly known as debt while going for a balance sheet analysis a financial analyst look into three types of analysis the first is liquidity the second is debt and equity the third is value and the cost when we talk about liquidity liquidity means firm's easiness and ability to pay its debt when they become due firm ke assets ko hum do हिस्सों में डिवाइड कर सकते हैं एक लिक्विड एसेट्स और एक नॉन लिक्विड एसेट्स लिक्विड एसेट्स आर द एसेट्स दैट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू कैश विदाउट लूजिंग देयर वैल्यू इन दिस वे द मोस्ट लिक्विड करंट एसेट अ फर्म कैन हैव इज द कैश द सेकंड इन द ऑर्डर इज अकाउंट्स रिसीवेबल एंड लीस्ट लिक्विड एसेट इज द इन्वेंट्री सो इन्वेंट्री टेक्स अ मच टाइम इन ऑर्डर टू बी लिक्विडेटेड इन कैश द मोस्ट non liquid asset a firm may have are the fixed assets these may be property this may be plant or equipment or even a firm may have intangible assets in its balance sheet as a non liquid assets now there is a difference between liquidity and profitability if a firm accumulates its its investment in liquid assets the firm may not earn higher profit as the rate of return on liquid assets is much lesser than the rate of return earned by the fixed assets so there is a trade off between liquidity and a profitability if a firm wants to earn higher profit the firm may lose liquidity and the vice versa when we talk about debt versus equity we have to study the concept of liability liability is an obligation a firm needs to pay on the time it becomes due in the liability side we may have current liabilities and long term liabilities long term liabilities may carry interest along with a firm has to pay interest and principal both on pre defined time this type of payment is called as debt service when we analyze debt and equity we come across a term liability liability is an obligation a firm needs to pay when it becomes due liability may be current liability or may be long term liability sometime a liability carries interest along with this means ke firm ko mukarra waqt par interest or principal amount dono ko pay karna hoga 
इस पेमेंट को हम डेट सर्विसिंग कहते हैं तो फर्म मे हैव टू सर्व डेट ऑन द टाइम स्टिपुलेटेड वाइल साइनिंग द डेट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट शेयर होल्डर एक्विटी इंक्लूड्स प्रेफर्ड स्टॉक कैपिटल सरप्लस एंड रिटेन अर्निंग्स इन फैक्ट शेयर होल्डर एक्विटी इज द रेजिडल इंटरेस्ट इन द एसेट्स ऑफ द फर्म आफ्टर डिडक्टिंग एक्सटर्नल क्लेम्स द थर्ड एलिमेंट अ बैलेंस शीट एनालिसिस नीड्स दैट इज वैल्यू वर्सिस कॉस्ट वैन वी टॉक अबाउट कॉस्ट दिस मीन्स द हिस्टोरिकल कॉस्ट एट विच द एसेट्स वर एक्वायर्ड और द लाइबिलिटीज वर इनकर्ड जनरली अ बैलेंस शीट कैरीज अकाउंटिंग वैल्यूज बिकॉज इन फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग जनरली एक्सेप्टेड अकाउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल्स रिक्वायर टू रिपोर्ट ऑल फाइनेंशियल ट्रांजेक्शन एट कॉस्ट बट मार्केट वैल्यू इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द बुक्स बुक वैल्यूज मार्केट वैल्यू इज द वैल्यू दैट इज डिटर्मन इन द मार्केट बिटवीन विलिंग बायर्स एंड सेलर्स ऑफ एसेट्स बैलेंस शीट जो कि अकाउंटिंग बेसिस के ऊपर तैयार की जाती है वो मार्केट वैल्यू को कैरी नहीं करती बल्कि वो बुक वैल्यू और ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट वैल्यूज़ को कैरी करती है जबकि बैलेंस शीट के यूजर्स लाइक क्रेडिटर्स लाइक प्रोस्पेक्टिव इन्वेस्टर्स लाइक मैनेजर्स ये लोग कॉस्ट के अलावा भी मार्केट वैल्यूज़ की तलाश में रहते हैं एंड दीज वैल्यूज़ डोंट अपेयर इन बैलेंस शीट